From GlobalShave.club and Sheldon Quinn, Maharaja's Delight Shave Soap, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, a brand new shaving soap today. We're going to have a shave with a brand new shaving soap. This is from Sheldon Quinn and GlobalShave.club or Global Shave Clubs International. Maharaja's Delight Shave Soap. There it is right there. Yeah, and the ingredients are coconut oil, tallow, shea butter, you know, a little bit of menthol, all that good stuff in there. Let's take a look at it right here. It's a artisan shave soap. There it is right there. Yeah. Yeah, boy, it's got a fresh, clean, crisp scent. Boy, that's really, really fresh and clean and crisp. Really, really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to use my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl. And I'm just going to, well, I'm going to wet the bottom of it a little bit like this. And I'm going to just take this and just put that in the bottom like that. I'm going to get some hot water and just kind of cover that up and kind of let that soak a little bit. Let, you know, get that going. Uh, I'm going to be using my uh, Atomic Rocket Shave Brush from Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements. Yeah. This is a terrific shave brush. And you know, the size of it is why I'm using it because this chairman bowl is rather deep and I want something that can reach down to that soap puck a little more easily. Now, when you look at this compared to say the West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb Brush, you can see it's got a little more size to it uh, than, the, than the Honeycomb Shave Brush. Here's the, uh, the Omega Pro Bore Brush. This is a rather large brush and you can see that the Atomic Rocket it's a little taller than that. That's why we're using it. It's a terrific, terrific brush. 26 millimeter knot. It's soft. Great backbone. Love this handle. Just feels great in the hand. So that's what we're going to be using. My razor. I'm going to be using my uh, Vikings Blade Vulcan razor. Long handled razor. I haven't used this in a while. This has the same great razor head as the Chieftain. Boy, do I like this razor a lot. Uh, just has that added weight and added length of the handle. Nice change of pace. It's twist to open. Ah, I really like this. Really like it a lot. Smooth, performer, terrific. We're going to use a, uh, a Rockwell razor blade right here. Uh, yeah, stainless steel, Swedish steel, that sort of thing. Let's open that up and let's just drop that in there right now while that soap is kind of setting up there and soaking. And you know, also, let's take my brush and just put that in the sink and let that soak up a little bit too. Okay, so uh, we're going to close that. Love that. Just twist it open, drop the blade in, you're done. That's great. Blade alignment and balance are spot on. Love this razor. Uh, I'm going to finish it up with a uh, Shash Allen Block uh, for my aftershave splash, Pinot Clubman. Yeah, a classic. Love, love, love this stuff. Why not? And for my aftershave balm for upstairs, maybe a little bit on the face. Nivea body shaving. Boy, this stuff is great. This has the same, it has a really terrific scent, very similar to regular Nivea. Comes in this great pump dispenser. And uh, of course they say body shaving, so they, they're indicating it that it can be used, uh, you know, for a head shave and other areas of uh, the human anatomy. Um, but soothing aftershave lotion, maximum hydration. We're gonna use it on the, uh, on, the, on the head, maybe a little bit on the face, that sort of thing. And the scent isn't gonna get in the way of the uh, Pinot Club, but, but it's got that light, clean Nivea kind of scent that uh, if you've used the regular shave balm from Nivea, similar, very, very, very similar scent. Okay, so uh, hang on, let me get a towel. I forgot to put a towel over here. Yep. Let's use this one right here. Put that right there, I gotta stop forgetting those towels. So excited to get the shave going, you know, and forget to put the towel out. Okay, so let's, this has been long enough and that's been soaking there. So let's just take this water and just dump it in there like that. And that's, yeah, that's set in there fairly well. It might slide around a little bit. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. I'm not going to use any kind of pre-shave. I'm just going to go right to the shave soap. Here's my brush. I'm going to wring it out a little bit. Give it a nice gentle squeeze. So here we go. Ah, the puck's moving around, around a little bit, but you know what? Repeated use, it'll set up and be very, very solid in there. I like to just work a soap puck 
until it starts creaming, around, creaming up around the sides of the uh, shave bowl. And then I kind of know I got a good brush load to do a face lather. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a face lather. And that's almost there. Terrific scent. Really, really nice scent. And it's starting to cream up. And that's why I'm using the uh, chairman bowl because if uh, the lather starts building up in there, it's not going to overflow. It's a really nice shave bowl uh, for just dropping a puck in and uh, you know building a lather that way and then leaving it in. You know, just leave it in. So there we go. I think we got a pretty good brush load here. Let's take a look. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay. All right, here we go. Had a really nice workout. Having shaved today, so this is my shave. A little more advantageous to shoot this video in the evening after a workout. So I've got probably about a day and a half worth of growth here. Worked up a nice lather rather quickly. Again, it's got coconut oil, shea butter, tallow in there. A little bit of menthol. The menthol is very, very slight. Very slight. I don't think you can really tell that it's there initially. It might grow and develop as the, uh, as the shave goes on. And I might get a nice burst of menthol when I do my final cold splash. But yeah, we'll see. But that's a good, nice, thick carpet of lather. Look how that worked up nicely. Look at that. Wow. Very, very nice. Okay, plenty on the brush. All right, got a towel down here to wipe my hands off with. Here's my Vulcan razor. Oh yeah. Gonna heat it up under some hot, hot, hot water. And just swirl it in the sink there to bring it to the proper temperature. Okay. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice and efficient. Very, very nice and efficient. It's I think this is gonna be two passes, to be honest with you. Boy, that's nice and smooth. Very, very nice and smooth. You could probably hear the uh, hairs being shaved. Because I do have some growth there. Nice, nice, very nice shave soap. Really, really terrific scent. Nice protection, good glide, first pass done, let's rinse. was a good first pass. It's on par with a lot of other first passes. I'm gonna knock my beard down in stages. That's why I like the uh, Vikings Blade Chieftain and the Vulcan, the Odin, all those razors because it's a good, for me, it's neutral. It's not overly aggressive. It's not overly mild. It does a nice job. It allows me to take my beard down in stages when I have a nice shaving soap like this. Then it allows the razor to do 
its job. The Rockwell blade, I think, is sharper than a lot of other blades. And I don't know if it's a coated blade. I have found that coated blades, for me, are a little smoother, like a, uh, a Teflon coated or, or a platinum coated, chromium coated, you know, those kinds of things. But if it's a stainless blade, it is a little sharper, a little aggress more aggressive, uh, which is why I appreciate this shave soap all the more because it's giving me that, that little bit of added protection when it comes to a blade that's a little more, has a little more tooth to it, let's say. All right, so we're going to go with our second pass east to west across the grade. No tugging or pulling. Really nice. Very, very nice glide. Again, like the scent a lot. Very fresh. I keep using the word crisp because that's what it is. It's got a crisp, nice crisp, crisp scent. Nice and smooth, really nice and smooth. Yeah, second pass usually is my money pass. That kind of tells the tale. Nicely, nice and maneuverable to get underneath there and get those little bits nicely. And you know, the end tabs are enclosed on this razor head. Same razor head as the original Chieftain. And uh, that's really nice. I really like that a lot. All right, so that's the second pass done. Let's rinse, let's see where we're at. That's nice. I'm good for the office, but you know what? Third pass is required. I mean, if I, if I could call the shave done, but third pass is going to be very nice and light. Light, light touch. And I want to show you how much soap is in the brush. I could really call this shave done after a second pass, really. But here, I want to show you how much soap is here. Lathers very nicely. Lathers like a champ. And that's the whole point. Showing you how, how much and how well this shaving soap lathers. Uh, and again, I love using synthetic brushes with, uh, with shave soap. They just generate a lot of lather. Uh, there's that advantage too. All right, we're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. Very, very lightly. But I love doing this, this third pass because you get those. A uh, little soap in my eye. Hang on. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't know how that happened. You get those nice... Classic against the grave strokes.
Love that. Just love that. And again, I'm just doing this very, very lightly. Um, well, make sure the chin area is, is well shaped, and it is. All right, third pass done, let's rinse. Needed, needed an extra splash or two to get the slickness off. There is a lot of nice slickness there. And yeah, nice, nice shave. Really, really nice shave. That was nice, very nice. Okay, I'm going to go with my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse to get that little extra slipness that might be there. Let's get it off. Okay. Here is my cold water rinse. Now let's see if the menthol kicks in a little bit here because it does say menthol. It's one of the last, it's one of the, uh, uh, one of the end ingredients listed. Right there at the end, it's one of the ingredients listed right at the end. Okay, nice and cold, cold water rinse. All right, no real menthol kick. I tried to put a few extra splashes on my face to see if that was there. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me. But no, there's no, there's no real big menthol kick. And if you've been watching this channel, you know I've been using some menthol products. Uh, from Phoenix Iverson Accoutrements, the cube, which is menthol, and the, uh, well, what is that? That's the, uh, the chill mill. Here, chill mill. That, that's menthol. You can add menthol to the, to your shave. But it might be there. It might be there, but I didn't feel it. Your mileage may vary, obviously. Um, but it was a nice shave. A nice, close, comfortable shave. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, let's, uh, let's get the uh, shash block here and see what kind of feedback we're gonna get. Run under some cold water here and see what's what. Yeah, that's smooth. Smooth as ice. Very, very nice. And I would say maybe or one or maybe one or two small micro zings. Maybe, maybe. That's about it. I mean, that's nice though. That's really, really. That was nice. That was nice. I. It was a nice shave. A great scent, very fresh and clean. And uh, you know how they say that uh, uh, it's got a crisp linen scent? Kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like a nice crisp linen scent. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, here's my brush. I'm just gonna rinse this off. And get that, get some of that soap out of there. And, and you know what I'm doing here is I'm just lukewarm water and I'm just massaging it out of the knot like this and just running the water underneath there.
Okay. Let me just shake it like this. Gonna just shake it. And I like to just like fan it against my hand like this so that I kind of knock some of that excess water out. Then shake it and that sort of thing. Just give it some vigorous shakes and look. Ta-da! <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. And you can, then if you want, I mean, that's just, you, know, you can just do a little bit of blotting and buffing here, you know, that sort of thing on the towel, just like this. Gently, and then like that. Fantastic, and this is a nice brush. This is, this is that's why I use it, because it's long enough to get into that deep uh, shaving bowl, and I know it's gonna generate a, a nice lather. It's really complemented the shaving soap very, very well. Pinot, no, Clubman, ah, boy. Classic, classic scent. Put a little bit there like that. That's terrific. Very nice. Just a great, great scent. Just a classic barbershop scent. Wonderful. All right, here's the Nivea body shave. Uh, body shaving. I'm going to use that much to start with. Again, it's Nivea. That's all I need. Boy, that's good. Boy, that's moisturizing. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. You know what? That's, that's, that's so nice. I'm going to put a, just a little bit like that and just... And that's not going to get in the way of the clubman at all. Matter of fact, I could probably mix the two together. Great shave. Wow, that was nice. That was really, really nice. The uh, Maharaja's Delight Shave Soap gave me a really, really nice shave. I mean, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. Uh, nice lather, nice protection, good glide. And uh, the thing is, is that I know it gave me some nice protection because that Rockwell uh, razor blade, that's a, that's a stainless steel razor blade, as they say. Yeah, Swedish stainless steel, right there, as you can see. And as I said, I don't think it's coated in any way, so it's going to have a little, little more tooth to that edge. It's going to be very sharp, and this shave soap right here gave me some really nice protection. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, uh, thanks to the Vikings Blade Vulcan razor. That did a great job with the Rockwell razor blade in there. So yeah, it was really a nice shave. Very, very efficient. And I think that um, probably an Astro Blade, uh, a Treat Blade, some of these platinum coated blades, probably the, uh, the shave would have probably been a little smoother, but uh, the Rockwell Blade, very sharp, very efficient. Uh, and this, show, this soap right here, really, really did a good job in giving, giving me uh, some great, great protection. That's why I use the Rockwell Blade. So uh, I look forward to some really, really good shaves with this shaving soap. And again, like I say, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Just a great, great shave. All right, hey, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell button next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, check out phoenixshaving.com or phoenixartsandaccoutrements.com for some great shave soaps, great shaving gear, uh, really, really good stuff. Check out globalshave.club for Maharaja's Delight and other great shaving gear. Boy, they got some nice shaving gear up there too, from razors, shaving soaps, nice, nice stuff. Uh, from Sheldon Quinn and GlobalShave.club. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rating where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.